Welcome back, it's Carl here, and today in Python, we're gonna be looking at some strings and how do we do strings. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, what a string is in Python, it is the ability to be able to type your name or give a command to basically say, type a set of strings, and then Python, being a programming language that it is, will go ahead and execute that command as long as the syntax is correct. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to just do something simple and I'm just going to use my first name so you can use your first name. So we're just going to say call. We hit enter and what do I get as a return? We get call. So basically everything that I put. But what if we just want to get that without the single quotes? So what we would do is we would use print and in using print, we also need to have a open and close parentheses. So what we want to do is have an open and close parentheses and let's do the same thing. Let's say print call with the single quotes and then hit enter. Now, when I do that, I get call and it's basically giving the command to say call. All right. So that's what print is kind of like. It's just like saying say call. So let's go ahead and go a step further. What if we did something like this? Notice we said print single quotes call Tesla y'all know I love Tesla's and then what if we say oh what happens is we get a syntax error because what what's happening here is it is not able to execute the right command because it's unterminated string literal detected at line one so basically saying that you can only use a single quote twice not three times not back to back to back but just back to back so how will we fix this the way we'll fix this is by using double quotes so let's go ahead and say print calls tesla and if we hit enter now we see calls tesla so that's great we're using the strings and everything is working out great so let's try something else this time let's just say print call double quotes and then let's say tesla and then close it what, what do you guys think is going to happen if we hit enter here we get another incomplete input syntax error so what happens is we, in order to fix this, what we have to do is we'll have to close that single quote off. So let's go ahead and try it again. So if we just say print call, and then we say double quote Tesla, and then put that at the end like that, and then hit enter, what happens? Boom. Now we have call Tesla, but we have the double quotes as well. So here's another trick. What if we wanted to come here, see where we got this error at, and say cause Tesla without adding these double quotes here? Can we do that? Of course we can. The way we would do that is we would use the backwards slash. The backwards slash basically says forget this next step. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to say print single quote call then we're going to say backwards slash then we're going to say single quote s and then we want to say tesla and then let's hit enter what happens we get another incomplete input so what happens here is the same thing that happened here <clears throat> it is missing that last closing so we have to make sure that we close that every time we use a single quote. So if we say and forget this single quote, then we have to ensure that if it's forgetting that single quote, then a single quote has to close this statement. All right. So let's just say print calls. Remember, we're going to say forget that one. But then we're going to say Tesla. And then we're going to add the one at the end and then hit enter. And what do we get? Calls Tesla. Now, let's go ahead and go just a little bit further. So what if we wanted to say call multiple times? Call, 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 call. Can we do that? Can we concat? 
Of course we can. The way we would do that is we would just do single quotes, Carl, single quotes, and then we'll say plus, and then we'll go back into single quote. And if we hit enter, what happens is Carl is concatenated. it. So now we have Carl, Carl. What if we wanted Carl with a space? So what if we just wanted our first name and last name? Can we do that? Of course we can. So all we'll do here is say Carl plus single space single plus Carl. And then we hit enter here. And we have Carl Carl. Now, what I said I wanted to do was my last name, but I did my first name, but it all works the same. So let's just do it again. Carl space Huff. There we go. And then we hit enter there. Now we have Carl Huff. Now, what if we want to say Carl multiple? amounts of time what if we just wanted to repeat that over and over and over again times five or something like that so what we can do is we can say five times Carl <laughs> because we basically want this to say Carl five times and if we hit enter here now we got Carl 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 so we have Carl five times and that is how you use the string method in Python